As we had done in the previous part that in enhancement type MOSFET, the channel does not exist initially. But what happens that if we provide a positive uh, potential at the gate terminal, the electrons that is the minority charge carriers from the P type get attracted towards this by the uh, induction law. And similarly, uh, if there is any immobile ion present, there is uh, the uncovering of immobile ions take place and the electrons get again uh, accumulated at the surface of the gate terminal. So what happens? There is a n-type region formed uh, where there was initially a p-type region. So the process of uh, this is known as the process of inversion. This is how a channel is formed in the enhancement type MOSFET. On increasing the VGS, the width of the channel increases. What is, now we have to know what is the concept of threshold voltage or VT. Threshold voltage or VT. The value of VGS. VGS is the potential which is provided for the inversion. The value of VGS for which there is a significant increase in the drain current is called uh, the threshold voltage. Initially, there is no drain current flowing. So, on increasing the VGS, we, we should get a drain current flowing between the drain and the source terminal. So, the minimum value of VGS for which current is able to flow from drain to source is known as the threshold voltage. So now we have to find out various cases of working of enhancement type of MOSFET. So here as we have seen that we have to provide a positive potential to the gate terminal. So in order to in order for current to flow from the drain to source terminal we have to provide a positive terminal to the drain, ter drain terminal and a negative term uh, potential to the source terminal. Now the current would flow from the drain to source. That is the electrons will flow from the source to drain and since in the conventional current we know that the direction of current is opposite to the direction of the flow of electrons. Therefore the current would flow from drain to source. This is ID. So now using Kirchhoff's voltage law we have to find out what is the value of VGD. VGD is given as using Kirchhoff's law, Kirchhoff's voltage law or voltage law. We get that VGD is equal to VGS minus VDS is equal to VGS minus VDS. So, the case 1 would be when VDS is equal to 0. Case 1, VDS is equal to 0 volts. When VDS is equal to 0 volts, the VGD is equal to VGS. When this happens, there is a uniform depletion region. As there is no potential on the drain terminal, Therefore, we get a uniform depletion region throughout the surface. With increase in VGS, although the width of the depletion region would keep on increasing. The next is if VDS is greater than 0 volt. Case 2 is given as VDS is greater than 0 volt. So, when VDS is greater than 0 volt, the value of VGD falls. As it is subtracted from VGS, the value of VGD falls. Therefore, D tends to become positive in nature. Due to this positive potential in the D terminal, the depletion region at the D terminal increases. 
Therefore, when VDS is greater than 0 volt, the depletion region at D terminal increases. The third case is when case 3 is given as VDS when VDS is equal to the threshold voltage. What was threshold voltage? Threshold voltage was the minimum value of V GS for which current flows from the drain terminal to the source terminal. So when VGD is equal to the terminal voltage, VGD is equal to T, then VDS is given as VGS minus VT, where VT is the threshold voltage, then the channel becomes very thin near the drain terminal. This is known as the pinch of condition. Pinch of condition. Pinch of condition occurs when the VGD or the potential between the gate and the drain terminal is equal to the threshold voltage. Then the pinch of condition is reached and the channel becomes very thin near the drain terminal. On further increasing the VDS value also the current, the drain current would not increase after the pinch of condition is reached. 